Good morning everyone, this is Angelo Zittis from IronFX bringing you the morning comment for the 30th of August. Pound rallies after EU's Barnier comments. The pound rallied yesterday against the greenback and the euro after Michel Barnier, EU's chief Brexit negotiator, offered Britain close ties after Brexit. Barnier stated that the EU would be willing to offer Britain a partnership but not a single market a la carte. The pound surged against a number of counterparts as fears about the after-Brexit period eased and the risk sentiment improved. We could see further volatility on GBP pairs should there be further headlines as the Brexit negotiations progress. Mirroring the strengthening of the pound, cable rallied yesterday, breaking all of our resistance levels and ended hoovering slightly above the 1.3020 resistance level, now turned to support level. The pair stabilized and we could see it moving in a sideways movement today. Technically, we would like to point out that the RSI indicator in the 4-hour chart is above the reading of 70, indicating a possibly overcrowded long position. It should be noted though that the pair could prove sensitive to any further Brexit headlines as well as today's financial releases. Should the bulls continue to dictate the pair's direction, we could see it breaking the 130.80 resistance line. While on the contrary, should the bears take over the market, we could see it breaking the 130.20 support line and aim lower for the 129.60 support barrier. One other news, US accuses China of undermining talks with North Korea. According to media, US President Donald Trump accused China of undermining US efforts to pressure North Korea into giving up its nuclear arsenal. The tweets made by President Trump also note an overspill of US Sino trade tensions into the US North Korean negotiations. Last week, President Trump called off a trip of US Foreign Secretary Mike Pompeo to North Korea, stating that not enough progress was made. Statements made deepen worries of analysts that the trade dispute nature could alter into a wider political dispute with China. Media also suggested that the US tariffs on China may be part of a wider strategy to isolate China. Should there be further headlines on the issue, we could see volatility rising. EURUSD rose slightly yesterday after bouncing on the upward trend line incepted since the 15th of August and remained above the 116.75 support line. For our bullish bias to be lifted, we would require the pair to break the pre-mentioned upward trend line and the decision will be met by the market today, bringing the pair in a make or break point. Should the pair find fresh buying orders along its path, we could see it breaking the 117.40 resistance line and aim higher for the 118 resistance zone. Should the pair come under selling interest, we could see it breaking the pre-mentioned upward trend line, the 1.1670 support line and aim lower for the 1.1623 support hurdle. In today's other economic highlights in the European session from Germany, we get the unemployment data for August and the preliminary release of the HICP rate for August. From the US, we get the personal spending growth rate for July and from Canada, the GDP growth rates for the quarter two and June. As for speakers, please note Buba President Jens Weidmann will be speaking today. From the commodities market, oil prices gained some support yesterday as the EIA crude oil inventories figure was of a minus 2.6 million barrels drawdown, much wider than expected. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Angelo Zitis from IronFX wishing you... Solid trading.